Okay, evening. It's uh, Mott Musings again here. Going to do another whiskey review for uh, Mott, my Mike and friends. Uh, and this time, today, we've picked um, Cotswolds. So this is the um, Cotswold Single Malt Whiskey. Uh, obviously from England, from the Cotswolds. It's actually um, made by um, a small distillery that was founded by Daniel Saw. Um, so he's an American who um, made a lot of money in London uh, in the financial markets. Um, had a bit of a holiday home in Cotswolds and uh, decided to make a distillery. Great, we'll have a go at that. Um, so the distillery was founded around about uh, July 14 and the first whiskey was laid down in um, September 14. This particular one we've got here is uh, batch 3 2017, one of 6,800 bottles using the 2014 Odyssey Barley. So that's a bit of a um, transparency uh, click that you get with these guys. Um, all the barley is grown within uh, 10 miles of the distillery. Um, it's then floor dried. Look at the colour on that. And um, malted and then turned into grist at the actual distillery. So, what have we got here? Lovely colour on this, obviously, you can see that. Um, the, uh, the new make uh, comes out at uh, about 75%, it's diluted down to 63 and a half ish, um, and then put into barrels. They use a mixture of um, ex bourbon barrels from Kentucky, they've got some um, French wine, uh, Portuguese wine, red, red wine barrels, and they've also got some. Um, Spanish sherry barrels. So what they do with with some of these barrels is they they shave them, they uh, they toast them, and they uh, rechar them, and that's what I think gives this um, three year old whiskey quite a decent colour. It is lovely. Okay, you can tell um, from the nose that it is fairly young. There's lots of resters um, jumping out of the glass at you. But there's also a lot of sweetness there as well, there's lots of honey, um, you can just about see in the colour that it looks orange and you do get that orange. It's like Seville oranges jumping out at you, really really nice. Maybe some um, peaches, I think the tasting notes on here say uh, peaches and apricots actually. Yeah, peaches and apricots on the nose. Okay, I would agree with that. So there's lots of honey, maybe a little bit of toffee in there as well. Definitely orange. Sponge. Okay, a little cough there, yeah. So this is 46%, which is um, pretty good for um, a new whiskey. You know, most of the supermarket stuff you buy is going to be 40%. And these guys have uh, resisted that and started at 46, which is good going. So on the palate, whoa, there's lots of nuts there. Um, oak, malt. I'm also getting um, that orange again. Um, orange marmalade. Um, there's a lot of spice there, um, all over the tongue, and there's some um, sugar, maybe dark sugar, I think the, the notes talk about. Oh, that's lovely. Now, as I said, this is a three-year-old malt whiskey. You really... Um, you can you can tell that I think from the nose. You couldn't probably tell it from the taste. It is it is you know as good as any eight, ten, twelve year old whiskey that you can get on the market today. I think very impressed with it. So it's been in the glass a little while now. And that orange is definitely developing. It's definitely orange marmalade.
I think there's also some toffee there. Lots of spice. It's got a long, warm finish. Um, hints of maybe um, red fruit in there. Maybe some strawberries, some raspberries. I think the orange and, and maybe a little hint of honey just um, takes over the whole thing. As I said before, this is 46%. Uh, so it's very similar um, to something like the, the Wolfburn Moven. Um, it's also 46%, it's also about £46. Um, three year old from a, a fairly new distillery, and I you know, compare the two quite favourably together. When you think about it, three year old whiskey, it's uh, it's a lot better than um, some of the non age statement stuff that you get. Um, I won't mention anything, but you know who we're talking about. Why don't these distilleries say that it's three year old or five year old or eight year old? I know that. You know, most of us have been brought up on saying that the older a whisky is, the better it is. That's definitely not the case. This is a three-year-old whisky and it's going down very well. Mm, definitely. Now, as you may know, I live in the uh, in Lake District in Cumbria. And we've got our own distillery here that's, uh, that's opened recently, the, the Lakes Distillery. And their three years from first installation is coming up this year. So there'll be some interesting um, news, I think, fairly soon from them about their first release. It'll be interesting to see, you know, a couple of things. What price does their whiskey come out at? What colour does it come out at? What's it taste like? Uh, and also, you know, what strength? Are they going to come out at the 46? They're going to stick to 40? Uh, interesting times. Cheers. See you soon. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that and click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.